Hey, I'm Andy Steves, coming at you with another travel tip clip to help you make the most of your time and money while you're overseas. The way I like to look for my flights is, um, for example, let's go from London to Paris today. So we're going to look up London. I like to keep all my options open. So I click all airports. And we're going to talk about a weekend in October, for example. So let's go over to uh, September, October. Uh, I have class, for example, up until 3 p.m. on Thursday. So we're going to search Thursday and staying until Monday. Now, I might need to switch that around a bit, but that'll get us started. So I do my search there, and I do the same search across each of these different search engines that I like. The reason I do that is because sometimes they give me back different results. So, uh, for example, the cheapest option popping up here is Eurostar, which is actually a train you can see. Um, that's something that we'll look into deeper in the next episode here. But for now, we're just talking about flights. So it looks like the cheapest option that um, that Kayak is pulling up is actually EasyJet. All right. Um, let's see what Skyscanner pulls up. It's confirming EasyJet is probably going to be one of the cheaper options uh, at this point in time. Now, one of the main things to keep in mind when it comes to flying with budget airlines is all the hoops they make you jump through and the different locations and airports they fly out of. For example, uh, LTN, I'm wondering what that stands for. So if I hover over it, London Luton Airport. Uh, a quick Google search shows me that it's just about an hour away from downtown London. Um, and, and I also want to be sure, okay, how expensive is it going to get, uh, is it going to be to get from, say, uh, downtown London to Gatwick, LGW. So again, a quick Google search shows me that uh, the slow train from Gatwick into downtown London is going to be about 10 quid, 10 pounds uh, each way, or about 20 pounds return. So that's something to keep in mind as you uh, begin to book your flights with budget airlines. Also, um, Another thing to keep in mind when you're booking with them is are they going to be uh, are you going to be checking bags for your flight? Will you have time to print out your boarding pass ahead of time? Some airlines actually charge uh, if you don't print yours out. Um, and will you remember to check in online ahead of time? Um, all these are things are all these are things that you should factor in while you're making your decision to to fly with a budget airline. Once I go through the, all those questions and select the one the flight that works best for me, I move forward directly with that airline. So I went ahead to easyjet.com, entered in my favorite flight, uh, favorite dates, and my origin and destination. And it's looking like if I have class until 3 p.m. on that Thursday, I'm going to go with this flight there. And then let's see here. I have class starting at uh, 2 p.m. on Monday. So it looks like if I wanted to, I could fly out Monday, giving me a full day extra um, in, um, uh, in Paris. So since it's my only time ever to experience Paris so far, um, I'm going to go ahead with flying there on Thursday evening and then flying back out first thing Monday morning. That's going to be an early mon morning, but hey, I mean, how many times are you going to get the chance to go to Paris? So right there, I move ahead and immediately here's something to watch out for. So this is something we're going to go over in our next clip. But that's how I like to find my best uh, rates and flights is by searching across Cheapaware, Kayak, and Skyscanner.net. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in, and be sure to check out all our trips and tips online at wsaeurope.com. Happy travels.